Whoa. Okay, hold on. You look nuts. Uh, are you okay? You okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Oh. Do you hear that? <gasps> okay, hold on. Um. Please. Please. <gasps> okay. No, no, no. Get me out of this room, please. Oh, everyone's collapsing. I'm sorry. Just make it stop. Please. I, I really don't. I don't know how to help. Like. Okay. Murder and mystery and mayhem all together in one horrible package. Uh, we are continuing The Wolf Among Us, episode two. Right now, we know that Snow is completely KO'd. Um, yeah, the serial killer got to her. Clearly got Lawrence as well. And the worst part of it all, Woody is now running around and making a mess of everything, clearly. Either way, we're gonna try and see how we're gonna get everything back in the reins. Being Bigby is a lot harder than it looks, and we're gonna have to take on some new leads to figure out what happened to Snow. So without further ado, thanks for slowing down. Hop right in and just grab some snacks while you watch the entire show of me making a mess out of all of this and trying to clean it up. Smoke and mirrors, let's get it. God, honestly, yeah, I wouldn't know what to do in this instance, too. And also, I wonder, does that mean the killer was in the taxi? Because that was the last... Oh. Jeez. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you Yikes. just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. I'm a detective. Why am I being interrogated? How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. Hold on. You're supposed to share information with me. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. <laughs> then why are you interrogating look, me? I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I don't think you should say that I know what you're going through. I don't think he witnessed a murder that close. That's very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, hold on. You look nuts. Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Oh. Do you hear that? <gasps> okay, hold on. Um. Please. Please. <laughs> Okay. No, no, no. Get me out of this room, please. Oh, everyone's collapsing. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. I, I really don't. I don't know how to help. Like, okay. All right. Um, do we break the evidence in the camcorder or? We have to go now. Wait, what did you do to her? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Jeez, well, okay. Oh, yeah. Um. All right, that's a little OP. Should we just, okay, now we definitely have to res destroy the recording, right? I thought it was like a department that would manage the interrelations, but I guess not. I guess uh, people and the fables just never... Really? We're not destroying the camcorder? Okay, well, I guess the people and fables just didn't have their own department or whatnot. They actually just don't know. That's crazy. I at least thought there was a department that knew about the magic or something. You know? Okay, well, it's glad to see Crane actually do something cool for once. 
Nice. Okay, and the coolness went out the window. Anything? Thanks for the bailout. Ignore him. Thanks for yeah. Well, we gotta thank him for at least trying. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yep. Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. What? Are you serious? Well, he's Who working for somebody, dude. Currently? Interrogating him. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. Not saying they're involved, but they're working for someone that could be. Come on, use your potato. Uh. Oh, will you be next? I hope not. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I'll stop talking. I don't need that right now. Like, didn't you treat her like crap two seconds ago? Yeah, mm mm. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. You know, this, this helping, shit right? isn't helping. Well, I apologize if my attempt at handling this has disturbed you, Bigby, but I thought we had some common ground. We have no common ground. Just forget it. Just forget it. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was, I guess, fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. This is so weird, coming from his mouth. Like, <sighs> okay. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to, have to put an end to this. Oh, just drop me off and then let me figure it out. It's been two murders in as many days. We don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B, for Miss White. I got it. Yeah. Why would you even say that? I was gonna say too. That's so stupid, man. Like he's already on the case. Don't put extra pressure on him. And the last thing I think he needs to hear right now is that. My thing is, I'm surprised there's no security cameras or anything like that in the apartments here. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on yes. using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. Jeez, dude. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I oh, was that's just Bluebeard. chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Okay, okay, interesting. All right, let me take over. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? <laughs> you see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? It's been B? better. Hey, you're funny. Glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. Speaking of dummy, don't you have a brother named dummy? I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Ooh, I love this. Where were you at? He's got Wait. more experience oh, hold on. with these kinds of things. Why were you at Faith's, you know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. I'm not messing around, dude. Just tell me. Place to cool if he doesn't home. answer, then I'll, I'm I'll not go further. I'm not around here, D. Yeah. All right, D. 
Let's get to know each other. Oh, whoa, okay, let's see. Oh, show him. Punch him or show oh, no. him? Yeah, show him the picture. That'll mess him up. Show the photo, yeah. Look at it. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. I'll make you look at Just it. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. Come on, bro. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. <sighs> Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Big B. We're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Oh, same as we got you. D talking. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna keep pressing him. Your brother. There it is. Thanks Where for the info. Last night. I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Oops. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. I actually would want to see what it is first. Money and a cigar. Oh, okay, hold on. You straps. I should be leading the interrogation. We can't Jeez, have whiskey. That. Hold on. Why not? Ooh. It Let's butter and love. Around. Always handy that way. Hmm. Offer him a drink. Let's see how this goes, actually. I couldn't hurt, I guess. All right, come on, spill the beans. Give me a little. Give me a little. Info. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls, to Snow White? Yeah, I'm on it, Bluebeard. Let me handle this. He's. He, he seems like he could easily break so him. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would. But we got time I can't to tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. Oop. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. What did you want Just to find? Leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. Uh huh. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Come on, right. dude. Since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hold on, hold on. I'm not freeing him from the straps. Just let me go. Ooh. I'm saving that. Uh huh. <laughs> Offer a cigar, we'll blow some more smoke. This is really, what's the point of this? I'm just yeah. enjoying it. Come on, here we try it. Yeah, all right. This will work, dude. The fact he's actually confessing is hilarious. Want to see a trick? <clears throat> okay, let's see. Hold on. This is ridiculous. He's never gonna talk if you treat him like a fucking prince. Bluebeard. Six. You're gonna give him a massage, offer him a nice steak dinner, Bluebeard? I've I'll try your way. Sure Just back off, opinion. Bluebeard. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers, or I'm taking over. I'm getting Not the answers. Not gonna happen. Come on, D. What did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a f thief. Fucking sweet. You see me? Oh wait, she Faith stole from you. What did she steal? But that ain't one of them. What did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. You got de-talking. Boss. There it is. <laughs> so let's talk about your boss then. See, I knew it. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Mm, okay, let's see here. Come on. I don't wanna- This episode will have it. Cash, actually. Look at how much cash does he have. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? Ooh, pocket the money, put down the money? I can pocket it? I oh. better get that back. Hmm, I don't know, should I? Uh, do I really need the money though? Nah, put it down, I don't think I need it. He was panicking though. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, 
You're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least beauty. you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Let him talk? Yeah, yeah let him talk. we're real close. He's just full of it. This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a f***ing house guest, Bluebeard. And not getting any answers from him this way. I'm literally getting Snow the answers, dude. Snow is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant f walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll oh. show you how it's done. There it is. What the f***? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Jeez, okay, Stop hold on. This right now. You enjoying yourself. Gra come on, Bluebeard. Not like this. I want to, but not not like this, dude. Not like this. Whoa. Whoa, what the? Seriously? It's not worth it, man. Like, honestly, we can just do other things instead of this. Huh? No. Oh. What's going on down here? Okay, that's confusing. Snow. How do you Okay, hold on. What? Why didn't she call us or tell Okay, this is weird. How does she not know that her own head is at the front of the apartments? Where the heck did she go then? I'm so confused. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. You don't flash all those awesome images at me. I need answers first. Like, what? Uh, how does this How does this even work? How did that even How does that even happen? That, that doesn't make any sense. I love the style for this game though, honestly. Smoke and mirrors. Okay. Dude, he just sleeps all day. I envy that man. I wish I could do that on the job. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I what? thought you could control yourself. Are you serious? It wasn't even me. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. Yikes. Yeah. Seriously? I didn't even hurt the guy. You really scared us, you know? You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead. I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. Oh. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I mean, or I, I should have been there, but I'm glad you took care is. of it, at least. I'm glad you took care of things. Thank you. Thanks. It's not easy, but I don't know. I would have at least liked to know. Snow? What is it? I should talk to TJ. Are you okay? Oh, I'm glad you're alive. Yeah. I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. That's totally fair. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. Hmm. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about... Yeah, no, you need to be careful that's true, but it's really not your fault. They're trying to send a message, right? Snow, it's not your fault. It would have gone to any length. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Hmm, let's see. You should lie low. I'll figure it out. No, we keep working together. We'll we figure it out. doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? I'm the sheriff. That's the not what I meant. To solve all my problems? Is he dangerous? Because that's what my job is right now. Th that's literally that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Dang. Okay, that's... Mm. 
Woof. Okay, yeah. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Yeah, I wasn't saying you couldn't. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. Cool. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... Seriously? You know. What? Are you serious? I can handle it. I can handle the kid. Okay. Jeez, dude, come on. I've been nice throughout the entire run. What y'all freaking out about? Everyone's beat me up, okay? They give me no choice. Ooh, Fable Town Business Office, okay. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I'd advise against it, but Buffkin, I understand. Do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Hmm. Okay, let's check on... Oh, Toad and TJ. Okay, so if we talk to them, that's gonna do that part. We already know the lamp isn't gonna do anything, so tragically. Um, what's on the table? Hold on. What's on that one? Oh, more tarot cards. Hold on. Well, that's appropriate. Three of swords. Okay. Um, tough news. Sad news for us. Maybe past. The moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But for me... Hmm. Well, who knows? Oh, that's true because we are a wolf. Okay, hold on. Let's see the last one. I hope you can find what you're looking a for. Hermit. Oh, we're trying to find answers. Oh, okay, okay. I like that spread. That wasn't as bad. First An one was. Message. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Yikes. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead. Perfume bottle. Hold on. I mean, would that even matter? Snow's perfume. Oh, okay, that's just weird. Okay, I thought we were just observing what that was. Okay, we already checked the Book of Fables, too. Hey, Buffkin, what you got? So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Mm-hmm. Are you ready to examine the body now? What? No, 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 not yet, no. Uh, in a minute. In a minute. When you're ready. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to examine the body just yet. I need to talk to Toad. Okay, I'm gonna talk to Toad now. Come on, Bigby. Toad, buddy! What are you looking for? Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? See, that's not cool. What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no Don't harm test done. Me, Toad. Why were you spying? What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. Dude, I don't like Toad at all. I don't. TJ. Hey, little buddy. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Yeah, take a leap of faith with me, buddy. Aw. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. Come on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, little man. What's it's up? It's okay. You okay? You okay? Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. Yeah. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw, I, I saw the lady. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, he witnessed a murder? No, come here, man. <laughs> oh. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. Jeez. The lady fell in, but, but she didn't have her head on. Yikes. I thought, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause, cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. Yikes, <laughs> okay. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Yeah. Is there more, TJ? No, don't Is press further, true? I think. You know when people are lying? Yep. 
I heard you could do that. Who says it's my job? That's why you're the sheriff. It's magic. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Come on, little buddy. Please, don't be mad. Oh. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. That's okay. I gave you very specific rules. You Whoa, have to buddy. stay quiet and out of sight of bad things. Leave him alone, Toad. Happen. Come on, like, you're you. not in trouble, TJ. You're not. You're not in trouble. Look, Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. Seriously. You're the one that wasn't accompanying him. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. Hmm. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Okay. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. That's okay. Did you see who it was? No. Um. <laughs> exact words. Who's, who's what? Do you know whose voice it was? No. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to press him a little too hard. It's okay. That's okay. Okay, TJ. Thanks, buddy. I'm you did good. sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home. That's all. <sighs> okay. I promise. I want to go home. Yeah, you can go. Okay. You can go. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. He didn't have to shouldn't have witnessed any of that, dude. Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. No, yeah, it's okay. Give him a hug. Get you home. Yeah, good job, buddy. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Yeah, I don't know. Toad, go easy on him. Why would you leave your kid alone, regardless if he goes in the river at night? Come on, man. Ugh. Okay, this is going to complicate things. That went about as well as I expected. Yep. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yep. 100%. Actually, wait. In a minute. I can ask the mirror. In a minute. When you're ready. Thank you. I know I know it's tough for you to see it and you just want to get it over with, but um I need to figure out what Toad was doing in the mirror. Can we is that even an option? Give me one second. Mirror mirror on the wall. Tell me what Toad saw at all. Hey, mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. Congratulations, Mirror. I wanna be you. Okay, I'm done. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> what was Toad watching? He's showing Mr. Toad and his son. Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. Really? And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Sorry. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Mirror, mirror, can you be a little clearer and tell me what Toad saw in the mirror? Oh wait, show me the woodsman? Um, uh, let me try, hold on. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me about the woodsman and if he's a bad guy at all. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. That's better than mine. Oh, God, dude. Well, that's helpful. <sighs> okay, one more. Show me. T oh, Tweedledum. Um, hmm. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Show me Tweedledum and end if he's having a ball. Ah, uh, God, I suck at this. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum that's actually good oh bro's camping out somewhere thanks mirror okay all right now time to handle the body stuff with snow you want to go look at the body now yeah so the neighborhood watch is what witnessed and reported to the police okay yeah yeah oh my goodness i almost forgot Come on. Yep. This is gonna suck. I wonder how it would feel looking at your own body. Oh, that'd be kind of weird. And how long does the glamour last then? Is it like a permanent thing or no? It sounds like they need to buy more of it every time. I'll read up in the book about it. I want to figure out what the glamour does. The witching well chamber. Ooh, okay, hold on. What's this? I want to see it. Yikes. I'm guessing you just fall eternally at that point. Yeah, new fable book entry added. Yeah, I'm going to actually check out the entry. I want to see what some of this stuff is. Let's go ahead and check it out. 
Oh, the Witching Well. Okay, I'll read the other ones afterwards, too. The Witching Well is located in the chamber inside the Woodland Building where it used to dispose of things meant to never be seen again. Dead fables are committed to its depths and more irredeemable- Wait, and the most unredeemable criminals as well. No one is entirely sure what lies at the bottom of the well, nor indeed if it has a bottom at all, but it's widely assumed to be a passageway for the final resting place. The Magic Mirror, we know about him. The Magic Mirror speaks mostly in rhyme and demands what others do the same. He also requires the name of whatever object or person wishes to find. If you follow these rules, the mirror will show you a glimpse of whatever you need to do or see, but nothing more. Bluebeard, after a long time of marriage resulting in mysterious disappearances, Bluebeard's last wife in the homelands, naturally suspicious of him, one day departed on her on business, leaving her alone in his estate. He gave her free reign of all the rooms, but made a promise not to open the closet on the ground floor. She defied him, of course, and discovered the location of the missing wives. Bluebeard returned and knew that he had to kill her before she revealed his murder secret. She persuaded him to allow her for a moment to pray, which he reluctantly granted. This small mercy gave the brothers time to arrive and rescue her. Bluebeard's crimes were exposed. Why is he working with us? Okay, no worries. We'll, we'll go back to the case and then we'll maybe by the end of the when I complete the episode, I'll read all the entries for you guys. So that way you can get the a little bit of lore. Let's see here. Oh, that's so creepy. The worst part is the glamour is still on, dude. Like, how does it? It doesn't even wash off or anything. Okay, that's creepy. Okay. Um. All right. I'm not. Yeah. Are you sure you want to be here with that? I didn't realize. Yeah. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. It's gonna be me even more strange the when I have to examine it. The is so it. effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. I'm so sorry. I feel very uncomfortable interrogating the body now. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Okay. Can you close her mouth? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll close her mouth and her eyes. Thanks. No, I'm just sorry I have to do this in front of you. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Mm. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Interesting, okay. Let's see the neck mark. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? Ooh, you can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. There it is. <laughs> Brooch. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Why bother with the right perfume if the appearance isn't completely accurate. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks oh, like no. something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Okay, that's crazy. We've already examined the neck mark, right? Could be a bruise. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, check the next part. Ah, uh, okay, this is... Okay. Oh my god, the rope marks at her feet and injection points. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? <sighs> it looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Jeez. Don't be ridiculous. Hey, well, Maybe I... she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? Ooh, it might be I've failing. It might be designed not to. It might be cheap glamour. It might be a cheap one. Just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Hmm. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? Probably. If it's that expensive. It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another hmm. thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. Oh, jeez. There's an extra one here. Okay, all right, yikes. Okay, let's see, maybe rope marks? Rope marks. She was tied up? 
They tied cinder blocks to her ankles so she would sink. Oh. Yeah. It wasn't fun. Well, something's in her hand. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. That's what I'm more leaning into. Oh, dead man's grip, man. Hell of a thing. Pry open, I'm sorry. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Oh, we're gonna rip it right off. Please don't. Jesus, Bigby. <laughs> what is it? A flower? Flowers. Yeah. See, we would have never got that had we not pried. Okay. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder. Oh boy. Um, what? I. <sighs> yeah. Ask politely. Do you mind if I open her coat? No. Do you mind if I uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Thank you. You know it's not you, right? It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? I'm not finished. She was a drug user. Her glamour is imperfect. The glamour is defective. Oh. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. Hmm. What? Yeah, why is he here? We should keep going. Bro, what are you doing here? Like, does he need to be present during this? He's just the mayor, right? Like, lingerie, okay, uh, pockets? Oh, What okay. is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Yikes. Okay, maybe Snow shouldn't be here. I, I'm, I'm kind of figuring out where this is going. Never mind. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. Though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? No, you worry too much. Let's find you out. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Mm, I can figure out, not sure. You actually you guys might want to stand back. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's to match an image. Let's see what we can find. Whoa, okay. There's a deer. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it's, it looks like an animal. Oh, it's a deer. Hold on. Let's go up. Let's keep rotating till we find it. And then it's missing his butt. Hold on. Oh, dear me. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Whoa. Yikes. A piece of hair in a photo. Not weird at all. Is that... It's your hair. Yeah, that's kind of creepy, Snow. Not gonna lie. Okay, this is just getting weirder and weirder. Mmm. They needed a reference to copy her. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing... I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Oh. Sorry Who to hear that. did this, Bigby? Clearly somebody that wanted to glamour you up. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Oh. Who do you think she is? 
I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have oh, left back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? Jeez, dude. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. Ooh. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. No, dude. We have to go tell Holly. Yep. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Dude. Can you leave us? We should go. You yeah. can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there. Yeah, and I think you. she knows what she's You'd capable be putting of. putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. That's not the same thing. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Plus, I need backup after Tweedledee and Tweedledum knocked me out. <laughs> I need somebody I can trust. Oh no, I didn't examine the lingerie and stuff. Jeez, I, that wasn't important, was it? I think I think we probably already knew that she was a user. So we'll figure the rest out. I mean, I wonder how Holly's gonna react because she did warn everyone that her sister went missing. So this is kind of rough. This is tough. This whole thing is complete shit and always has been. I mean, what's his job really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they oh, are. Oh no, you're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the f they went to after? Yikes. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Oh, what's this? They're nervous now. Good. Yes. You can relax. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. I didn't start it last time. You guys did. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Oh. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I just need to talk to Holly. Here. In private. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. Dude. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Okay. Oh, everyone knows. Jeez. Tweedledee was just here. Not Tweedledum. He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Wow. Tweedledee wow. said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Seriously, Jack. Baby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now. Thank you. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Oh my God, Cat dude. got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired oh, of what? Oh, seriously, I gotta trouble, like manage with Jack. these. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or oh, no, the Jack off. I don't care which. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. <laughs> Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? Oh, I want to and we haven't heard word that. one about it from anyone. That's Actually, literally what we hear about. Have there been any updates? Be gentle. I... Don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. I'm sorry. Maybe I should have thrown Jack out. Oh God, yeah, that's that's tough. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If yep. you say one more f***ing thing, just one more thing. Dude, it's not worth it. Thank you. God f damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow f White is all safe and sound. Jeez, dude. 
Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever f***ing need you? I if you'd give one ounce of a sh about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Dude, yeah. Imagine Holly's frustration. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. I mean that. <sighs> oh, dude, I feel like... I get it if she needs space. Like, give her space to, like, recoup. Yikes. Yeah, she definitely needs some alone time. Holly, get the f out of my bar. Snow, maybe not now. I just want. It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. There it is. Guys, it's not on each other. Okay, it's just a crappy circumstance. Bro, I don't know how to console her in this moment. Like. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. We don't have time for this. Isn't that evidence? Uh, Good call. Copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. Hmm. That was decent of you. Okay. Grin. I, yeah. Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Okay. Oh, that's cool. Good work, Snow. Okay, never mind. And, and take Jack with you, please. Thanks. <laughs> All right, now we can get to the bottom of this and figure out why she ended up in that position too. She must have known because they're sisters, right? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. What? Seriously? She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why was she glamoured? Any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? Yeah. What? Oh, God. Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was probably about... Oh, come on, tell me! She was hooking to pay down debt. Mm. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Jeez, okay. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. I gotta ask about Georgie, Georgie though. Hmm, what do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. Okay, all right. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. Anything else you can tell us? Lily. It's okay, I'll, I'll let you tell for. I'll check into it. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. Oh. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Jeez, Please, you sure? We can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of, it's a formality with trolls. Hmm? We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Okay, yeah, of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations. Yeah. All right. Cool. We can do that. I, I don't. I don't care about Crane. <laughs> I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> like, jeez, dude. Okay, let's go. That club. Yep. I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Uh, thanks? Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. Okay, that's cool. I know what I'm doing, okay? Like, come on. Hey, that was one time. That's not- that's not a fair comparison. Okay, let's see here. Like, what do we do in this circumstance, too? Please have, oh, quick cash, the pudding and pie, the Bronx. Ah, okay, so it's a club, okay. Yikes. Why 
Why do they always crush it when there's still enough smoke left? Like, you can still smoke a oh. little more. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. <laughs> not quite what I meant. Mm. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. That's the plan? You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Okay, cool. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Well, how my way with I people? I mean, more so than usual. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Dang, dude. Okay, open the door. Now I gotta figure out. Okay, let's see. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. I want to know why you guys chose that name. we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? Did you know Lily? She worked here. <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. Jesus, dude. Why does everyone keep saying that? All right, bro's already hitting the beats. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Wait, hey. Okay, wait. Um, editing me. Quick. Leave her alone, asshole. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Everyone's got a punchable face. Like, I need to punch him. The urge is growing. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just f with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? When did you... Or do you, actually? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially hmm. if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No, I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's You know watching. it's illegal, right? It's their own business. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. Oh, The 13th okay. floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got f all to back it up. What? I have all the stuff in evidence, dude. And we're all just meant to jump anytime the wolf shows show his teeth. Here, show him this photo. Show him the glamour box. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the f is this then? Get that out of my face. Ha! I found it on Lily's body and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For f sake. I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for? Yeah, then? that's what I'm more she curious had about. Clients, Big B. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of f people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Anyway, now what to do with me? Oh, that's annoying. No, 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 no. Just turn it off. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? Who one hired more time. her? Who hired her? Oh, there it is. Bro can't even fight. Oh, no, f I'm not really stunned by that. You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, actually, Fuck yeah. Fuck's sake. Uh, big man. F guns. <laughs> oh. I need to ask some questions. Hans, is it? Actually. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Yeah, hold on. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Hmm. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? Moron. There it is. Show I like you, Hans. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. 
and have a fairly good idea where to start. I'll get out of here with that. Hey, that's my personal property. You're right. Smash boombox. Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. <laughs> okay. Don't mind me. Oh, wow. He's so nervous. Like, he's sweating. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Okay. Hey, now. <sighs> Let's see. I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Hmm. Okay. Don't even think about it. Oh, wait. <laughs> just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Ah, I gotta smash something, don't I? Do not touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. Hand it over while you still can. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Wait, oh, wait, even better. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Oh, God. I want to smash things, but well, I know I'd well, have to pay for it later. this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Mm, okay. Sheriff, will you come on? I've got to open up in a few hours. No, I'm not going to hurt Georgie. He can use that as an excuse. Give me the book. Just give it, dude. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We get it. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. People are dead, dude. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. All right, I guess we'll try threatening him. You might want to stand back. Oh, sweet. Okay, all we can just All right, all right, all right. Oh, sweet. Okay. So all that plausible deniability went out the window. Bloody come on, then. Prick. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I really Once wish. Again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Oh, sweet. Okay, okay. I can work with this. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear, I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. Hmm. What's 207? Room number? I don't know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't hit me, Georgie. This is your book, your girl. I'm not the secretary. I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. Jeez, dude. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Yeah, go ahead. I don't even care. I'll pay for the glass, I guess. Oh, okay, somebody's in there. Hmm. What was this? Cosmetics. Jesus, okay. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Almost thought he said glamour for a second there. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we can't keep that. Okay. Oh, okay. You're just... Okay. I was just staring at it. Nothing of Faith's, huh? Lock's been busted open. Interesting. And the makeup case. Broke into all of it, trying Broken to get open. open. 
but there isn't even a lock. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Is there anything else up there? Nope. We already know about the cosmetics and everything. What about this area down here? Excuse me. <laughs> hey. I heard you out there. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what's happening. You here before. I'm here now. I'm here now. Yes. I'm so sorry it puts you through all of that. That sucks. You're trying to place me. Hmm? They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? Jeez. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What kind of a question is that? Same for? as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? I don't know, in the sea? I, Aquaman? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Well, maybe if I question, I can figure something out. There was actually room 207. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. Oh. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. Wait, people keep saying that. By design. By design? People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? <sighs> Notice that. Okay, interesting. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. Dude, I don't think... <sighs> These lips. She, she's trying, it looks like, dude. She's under some influence or something. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Uh-huh. What? You can't tell me? That's not what I'm here... It, okay? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Oh, whoops. Uh, I don't got cash. Okay. I don't. Oh, I, uh, I don't. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm broke. Oh, no. Wait here for a second. Okay, okay. This is. Okay, this is rough. Oh, I should have stole the money. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, wait, because he can't do anything if the clients are... Okay, now is she able to talk? Huh? Oh, thank you. Not 207? No, no, no. You'll think of something. Thank you. Thank you so much. So sorry to make Open you lose your cash. Arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Please be safe. Damn, dude. Okay, all right, now we can figure out where to go. Okay, let's see. At least that's something. I feel so bad, I didn't have enough money. Quick, there was a bag I could have deposited. Oh, dude. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not even gonna no. It, you do your thing, man. I'm not I'm not judging. Hey, I'm not judging. Just <laughs> I'm I'm judging. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Who cares? Uh, okay, let's see what we can do. Open arms hotel, here I come. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Um will they just let me go upstairs? There's no one down here, right? Maybe I could like break into two oh seven. Seems like the plan. One puff. Smile, you're on camera. Wait, that's confusing for this kind of establishment. No refunds. No, I'm not going to use the bell. Let's check the sign, though. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Jeez. I don't... They know what they're going for. Anything going on with the phone? They should probably repair that. I think they did that on purpose. Let's see. I don't think we can... Should we ring it? I, I wanna 
Keep your pants on, buddy. Oh. You have to check in first if you want a room. Okay, all right. So come on. Mosey on back, <gasps> and we'll get you set up. I'm not here for a room. I'm not here for a room. <gasps> oh. Uh, yeah, you I can tell from the voice. This is awkward. I work okay. Here, okay. I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. Oh. So now you know. Why? Okay, I know dude. I should have told somebody. You should totally but tell Beast, Beast about would that. Lose his mind if you knew. Oh wait. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Big B, I have to say, that night when you saw me, I really didn't appreciate you telling Beast when I expressly well, asked I you not to. Why? I couldn't lie. So, okay. What are you doing here? What do you think? I'm on the case. Oh, you have a key. Yeah. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Hmm. Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. Okay. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Hmm, okay. Have you ever seen Lily ever with anyone? Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on, on the a job? job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. Mm. I haven't worked here that long, though. Okay. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or mm. Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Dang, okay. Um, do you know anything about Ever Faith? meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, oh, Heather. God. Sorry. No, I'm sorry you have to do this. That's tough. Have you seen someone that looks like Snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Interesting. What about the Tweedledees and Tweedledum? I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan mm. for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Oh. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Big B. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had nowhere else to go. I mean, look at where she's look, working, Big B. This ever happens again. Come see me or Snow first, all right? I that tried. Sucks. Yeah, see, that that sucks. I'm so sorry. Come see me instead. Why are we wasting Thanks. so much smoke? Wait. Come on. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so hmm? they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Okay. I'm sorry you have to witness Five all the horrors minutes, of the night. Please. We'll yeah. see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. Okay, that's that fair. Won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. <sighs> Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well. I have Never to tell know. the truth. I'm it's sorry. Not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I'm sorry. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Uh, 204. I want to go to 207, though. Well, actually, I wonder. Can we actually just go to 207? You don't really have to stay up here with me. Yes, I do. Just do what you have to do. Okay. We don't need the other rooms. 207. Eavesdrop. Hmm. Can we open the door? No, don't knock. Oh, crap. Open it. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I- This is the room Lily was in. Come on. Ugh, <sighs> fine. I'm so sorry. I'm putting extra pressure on Beauty here. I'd well, scale out a weird. window if I could. This key 
key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, sh Beast? Big B? Oh How my god. How could you do this to me? Bro, this is kind of no, weird. Where did you come no. from? Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. Oh no. You're cheating on me! With him? <laughs> no, Bro. no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. She really is. I'll bet! I'm Dude. sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. Oh my this god. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! Dude. What the f is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. Oh, I'm mad. Ah! Hey. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. This is Stop so it. sad. This is actually sad. You said you saw her that night. I should have known. Oh my god, Listen just to your wife. Just calm down. And Beast. Like, I'm trying to help you, dude. I was honest with you, too. What? What? Oh, seriously. Everyone just starts swinging. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. Yeah, I know that. Oh. Come on, dude, it's not worth it. Seriously, just She's quit my it. Wife, Big B. I understand I that I don't need her. Ugh. That's tough. Stop. Okay. Okay, hold on. Are we <laughs> we're just gonna talk Oh, I'm getting more feral. <laughs> oh sorry. Ah, I'm sorry, beast. Leave him be! Yeah, I know, this I know. It's my fault! It's okay, but he's taking a little overboard. He needs to chill out, dude. Put him on a timeout. Serious, dude? Do you want to get with assault at this point? Beast, you have a death wish, my dude. I'm so sorry. Yikes. Just, yeah, just stop. Just stop. Like, hold him down. No, I, I, what? One punch. Okay, that's it. You done? Make me no. Don't hurt him. Yeah, no, he's had enough. Yeah, he's had enough. Stop, stop. We don't need to go further. He's not thinking straight. That's that's the problem. Are you serious? Oh. Uh, you could, beauty, you should probably leave now. You ruined everything. Are you serious? She's I my fucking wife. I'm not, no, I didn't do anything. Oh. Oh. What have you done? Oh, Big B. No. What you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see this! Oh my gosh, beauty leave. Yo... Stay outside. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going what on? What did I just say? Beast? <gasps> there it oh is. Oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily yep. met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then- must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. <laughs> I work the front desk. I... Who rented this room? So that's... Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. Jesus, How is dude. that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Yeah. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. Please. I'll explain later, okay? Yeah, come on, dude. Yikes, man. We literally told him it was a crime scene, Baby, too. What kind of a person could do something like this? <sighs> That's exactly what I'm about to try to yeah, find out. Yeah, I need out. you. I need you to actually leave and make sure no one else shows up. We need to see a cassette player, huh? Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so. Yes. Ooh, so we can figure out the time of when it happened. I can't believe this. Must have played some footage or tape. Bad. The flower matches. Where'd Dang. you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. Jesus, dude. Okay, hold on. Apple. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Is it magical? 
Oh, oh, that's just so weird because it's Snow White. I just realized that. No, that's just creepy, dude. Dude was a smoker. Might be some evidence on that. Let's check the bed. We shouldn't even be in here. Yeah, we shouldn't, but guess what? We are. So help me figure out what's going on. Storybook, huh? Bro is trying to fit the theme. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. Oh. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. What is it? Bro's going for her. He likes to see snow in peril. He made Lily bite the apple. Yeah. I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Ooh. Of course. That makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... Yep. Uh... Yeah, it's okay. Wait, what? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Oh... Did they put her in that state? Oh no. What? What is it? He likes people, but he's obsessed with death. The bed matches the I coffin. I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. That's creepy. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is just bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like pathological. Yep. I'm getting that feeling. Yes. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. Yep. How did she wind up here? I mean, now, not this exactly is the hard part. here, but she just how trouble. does a person... George is the only thing George I can think of. George took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, that puts things in perspective. The bottle, any he sense? brought wine. Classy. <laughs> Classy? Okay. Smoker, too. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Oh, come on. Apparently not. Don't judge a man's brand. She must have been so scared. For my arrival. Ooh, we can put that in the cassette player. Wait, what's that? Hold on. Yikes. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? Yikes. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Ew. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Okay, wait, hold on. Looks like Snow's costume. He likes it rough. He could be a crossdresser. Looks like Snow's costume. This is the same dress as the one in the book about Snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. Yep. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. Bro has a fantasy. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a Snow White dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. Yep. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. That's totally fair. Although I got to figure out what that cassette tape's for. Never mind. What do we got here? Hmm. Are those pictures of the dead girl? No, I think it's pictures of snow. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Whoa. Oh no. So she was Could dealing be. with a stalker. This kind of stalking? 
It doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What oh, is no. it? It's <gasps> Crane. What? You Okay. And he knows. Oh, he's gonna run. Oh, can we call? Can we call so he doesn't get away? Are you serious? Oh, what a turd. And he killed the mirror. That's gross. That's creepy and gross all at the same time. I guess the cassette tape is gonna have to wait. It must have just played the theme for the Snow White song. Try and get the mood going. Next time. Oh, are you serious? Okay. Oh. He I could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that. Disgusting weasel! Oh, he took the evidence! I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete <laughs> Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Jeez. Hello, Big B. Of course. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Dude, why is everyone being a jerk to me? I'm actually, I'm on point. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Okay, we're getting closer to that. <laughs> okay, how did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? You and 21.1% players shut him out. Yeah, I thought, I'm glad I did. He's such a weirdo now. That just confirmed it. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 45.4% of players persuaded him to talk. Interesting, that's fair. Did you let Snow come with you? Yeah, that's completely fair. How did you handle Georgie? You and 19.5% of players didn't hit Georgie. Yeah, I really wish I did, though. I'm not going to lie. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 19.8% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. Wait, everyone just went ham on him? Ha! That's so cool. Okay, well, that's it for this one. Oh, my God. Okay. Crane being the creepo is even more sinister because bro was stalking and taking pictures of her everywhere. I am I know Georgie is definitely using the girls and there is something weird with the girls not being able to talk. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because they're maybe it's because Georgie was nearby that he's threatening them. Um, But there's a lot more to this. Uh, Bluebeard was interesting. I genuinely love seeing Dave Fennoy always or my boy Lee always coming at it. But this is, yeah, this was this was episode two for The Wolf Among Us. It's just only going to get crazier from here, guys. Either way, thanks for slowing down with me. Take care, stay safe. And as always, like, subscribe, and comment whenever you feel like it. Ah, <sighs> this one's intense. I love it. I love I love this dark stuff. And Editing Me is going to have a blast going through all of the uh, <coughs> scenery. Either way, take care.